Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing an exploding firework. Yeah, it's going to be way awesome. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're actually going to use pencils and markers and some paper and something to color with. Something to color with. All right, let's get started. Yes. And we're first going to start with our pencil and we're just going to put a little point in the middle of our paper. That's just to help give us a guide. And then we're going to use our markers after that. So we could switch. Now we're going to draw the explosion first. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw a curve coming out like that. Now on the other side we can draw another curve kind of doing the same thing but going the other direction. Now let's draw another one. We're going to draw this one coming up and then curving out. And see how all of our fireworks are starting from the center or all of the explosions are starting from that center point. Now let's do another one. Let's go this direction over here. Cool. Let's add some going down. So we'll draw a curve going this way, coming down. And we can do another one coming the other direction, curving the opposite way. All right, that looks really awesome. Now let's make these lines thicker. We're going to start right here and we're going to draw a, another curve right next to it starts at a point in the center of our drawing and then gets wider towards the outside. Now right here at the end, let's connect them with a little curve. Kind of looks like a shooting star or a comet. Now let's do the same thing with this one up here. We'll start at a point, get wider towards the outside, and then connect those two lines with a curve. Now we're going to fast forward and repeat that same step for each of these lines. Now when we fast forward the video, remember you guys at home can pause it to take time to finish that step. Now Jack, let's add, we're going to repeat that same step, but add even more of these firework lines in between each of these first ones we drew. Okay. Now they can be shorter and they can also be longer, but we're all going to start, we're always going to start from the center and come out and get bigger towards the outside. Let's fast forward again. Good job, Jack. All right, now let's add some really small ones. So we're going to repeat that same step, but watch this. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to draw a really small one. Repeat all the same steps, curve at the end, and just create these little ones out on the end. Now you can mix them up. You can put them close to the center like this. You can put them further out. So just use your creativity and your own imagination to figure out different fun places to put these short little firework lines. Now we're ready to switch back to our pencils and we're going to draw a star. Now we've drawn stars before, but let's go over the steps one more time. So we're going to use our pencil as guidelines to draw the guidelines first. Now I'm going to draw a big star down here at the bottom. I'm going to draw an A shape and I'll draw it dark, but you guys at home can draw it lighter so that it's easy to erase when we're all done with the steps. So now we're going to draw a line that goes across. So it looks like an A and then we're going to connect the right side to the left part of the A and then the left side, whoops, my pencil broke. Then the left side over to the right side of the A. There we go. Now we can switch back to our marker and we're going to draw, we're going to trace around the guidelines, but we want to make sure that we don't go over the center of the star. We're just going to go around the outside like that. Good job. Then we can switch to our eraser and then we can erase the guidelines in the center of our star. And all that's left over is the outside shape. Good job, Jack. Now we're going to repeat all of those same steps and we're going to draw stars all the way around our firework. Now we can draw small stars and big stars and we can mix them up. You ready to fast forward again? Yes. Now I got a challenge for you, Jack, and also you guys at home to try and draw a star with your marker without the guidelines. So after you've practiced drawing that many stars, it'd be fun to see if you'd be able to draw a star 
without those guidelines. Oh, I need some practice. <laughs> I'm gonna try and draw a small one right here. Let's try to draw another one. Try again. Oh, that one's a little better. That one. Good job, you did it. That's awesome, it's fun. That's a fun shape to try to practice without the guidelines. We gotta do one last thing before we color it, and that's to use our erasers to erase all of the guidelines. Don't forget to erase the little dot in the center of your drawing. There we go, and we got our little sweeper. And we have a link on our Amazon store where you can purchase the same little sweeper. I love these things, it's easy to get those shavings off. All right, Jack, we still need to do one last thing, and that is? Color it. Color it, it's gonna look so much better. It's gonna look more like a firework yeah. once we add color. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward one last time, but at the end, if you guys want, you can pause it again to match the same color. All right, Jack, you did awesome on coloring your firework. Now you guys at home can pause the video to match the same color. We just use two colors. Red and blue. Yeah, red and blue, but you guys can use any color you want. I also wanted to get more practice on drawing stars, so I filled my whole paper with more stars. But you could leave that off to keep this lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your exploding firework. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you use your creativity to change your drawings. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.